Senator Kirsten Sinema is facing pressure to kill the filibuster in the Senate. She and one other Democrat carry a lot of influence with this vote because they have said publicly they will not kill the filibuster. Today, a group of concerned constituents made their voices heard. Cronkite News reporter Harrison Klopp was at Senator Sinema's office where the protest took place. Protesters have largely filled out, but around 10 this morning, there were around 100 people here that ended up occupying the balcony right outside Senator Sinema's office. Show me how the people sound like. The sounds of protests were heard outside of Senator Kirsten Sinema's office on Camelback Road in Phoenix. The group demanded changes from everything from voter rights to a higher Arizona minimum wage. And the key to all of that, protesters say, is killing the filibuster. I think we need to draw more attention to the, the procedural rules that are blocking uh, significant legislation from getting passed. Uh, Senator Sinema has so far been obstinate in that, and she uh, is sticking to these old rules that don't benefit the people anymore, and it's time for a change. And while many of these people were Sinema voters two years ago, her constituents believe that she owes them. I hope to let the senator know that her constituents and grassroots volunteers who worked tremendously hard in this Arizona heat less than two years ago, fighting for her to win her election seat with a narrow margin, thinking that she would, and believing that she would believe in her people. According to KTAR, 10 protesters were arrested at the scene this morning. In Phoenix, Harrison Klopp, Cronkite News. In a recent op-ed piece for the Washington Post, Senator Sinema said she would not change her mind on the filibuster writing, quote, the best way to achieve durable, lasting results? Bipartisan cooperation. 